Who oh boy, you guys are not gonna like Odeon's review because literally this man did not use any cards during his one duel in the show against Joey. Oh boy. Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the Battle City Deck Profiles. It's me, Cooper, and today we're going to be talking about my main man, Odeon. This guy is an interesting case. This might be the first ever character in the Dynasty series where I had to make up over half of their deck because they only showed like six or seven cards on screen that aren't fake, you know, that aren't, that were not anime only cards. Um, so we're in trouble here. I'm not going to lie. We're in a little bit of trouble here. This man is going to be hard to, hard to talk about. I guess we'll start by getting into his ace monster. The Odeon's ace monster is the mystical beast circuit. Now the mystical beast circuit is a really good monster. What it is, is it's a one tribute monster. Cause it's only six stars with 2,500 attack and 2000 defense. But what it also does is that it banishes any monster that it destroys by battle and it gains 500 attack points every time it does this and it's a permanent gain. So the Mystical Beast of Circuit is an extremely busted boss monster because banishing was super rare back in the day and honestly having a card that has that much attack is great. But it has one weakness. You must have a Temple of the King spell card face up on the field for this, to, for this card to stay on the field. It's like a Tomb World situation. So his best card requires a Tomb World kind of card. So getting into his rare cards, let's talk about the Temple of the Kings, the card we were just talking about, and his other regular card, the Embodiment of Apophis. Now this is his Trap Monster card, and one of the few Trap Monsters we see in the show, because back in Duel Monsters, Trap Monsters were extremely rare. So Odeon owning a Trap Monster was super rare back then. His Trap Monster, basically what it is, is you could Special Summon this card during the main phase, and it has 1600 attack, 1800 defense. So that is pretty freaking handy. 1600 attack, 1800 defense is a solid monster. For defense anyway. For attack it's whatever, but that's still good enough. Um, and his Temple of the King spell card, what it does is not only does it let you summon Mystical Beast Circuit, you know, you can tribute summon it now. Um, it lets you use a trap card the turn you set it. One trap card the turn you set it. Which is pretty good for this man because he loves him some trap cards. Um, so the fact that he can actually summon his trap monster, Abodiment Apophysis, the second he sets it because of Temple of the Kings, that's a pretty nice combo. It lets you special summon a monster, basically. And I think that'll be pretty damn handy for him. So, the weakness of Temple of the Kings, obviously, is that if it gets destroyed, so does Mystical Beast Circuit, if you have already summoned it. And, um, the strength of it is that effect where you get to use a trap card, and its second effect, where if you have a Mystical Beast Circuit on your side of the field... And this spell card face up on your side of the field, Odeon gets to do something incredibly original and incredibly special. He gets to special summon a monster either from the deck or from the fusion extra deck. It says fusion deck from the old days, but I guess it's extra deck nowadays. Uh, one fusion monster from your extra deck. So basically, he could summon any fusion monster in his deck, or any monster from his deck, specially, and it doesn't matter what it is, except, you know, he can't summon uh, Mystical Beast of Circuit because you're throwing it away, so... Yeah, except for that card, and since you're throwing away the spell card to make this happen, yeah, you can't do that either. So what he does with Temple of the Kings and Mystical Beast Circuit, he uses it to summon his Wing Dragon of Raw. That's right, even though Merrick gave him a fake Wing Dragon of Raw, which kind of cost him the duel, I gave him the real Winged Dragon of Raw. So that's right, Odeon will be the other user of Raw in this tournament. We have we have uh, one Slifer, one Obelisk, and two Raw users. So the Winged Dragon of Raw will be used by uh, Odeon as well. And the way he could summon it, if he doesn't do the Triple Tribute, which he could totally do that too, he can use Mystical Beast of Circuit with Temple of the Kings, get Raw out in one turn, and then use all of the attack points of Raw to win the duel. It's not even that, it's, it's it's actually super doable in this tournament. There are very few people that have traps or spells that can save them from raw. So that is actually pretty good, a pretty good combo. Moving on to Odeon's stats. His attack stat is... 
average. The reason his attack stat is average was because I had to make up half of his deck. And the deck I decided to give Odeon, I gave him Gravekeepers. Okay? You guys have to accept it. I gave him Gravekeepers. He needed cards. He needed monsters. He had nothing. Nothing that existed in Duel Monsters time period. Nothing I could give him. Alright? There were no trap monsters back then that I could give him. Only the Abomination of Apophysis. There was nothing I could give him that existed in Duel Monsters era. So I just decided to give him Gravekeepers. But I only gave him the Gravekeepers from the pack that had Lava Golem in it. So he doesn't have any future Gravekeepers. He has Chief, he has Assailant, he has Seer Soldier, he has Cannon Holder, he has Spy, he has Guard, he has Watcher, he has Curse, he has Vassal, and he has Charm of Shabati or Shabti. So those are the Gravekeeper cards he has, and he has Necro Valley. Necro Valley also came in that pack. But he doesn't have Common Dawn, he doesn't have any of the future ones because they did not get released in the first Gravekeeper pack. So he does not have those. I also gave him a Makura the Destructor. This is a card that freaking uh, Merrick uses, and what it does is that when this card is sent from the Monster Zone to the Graveyard, you can use any trap card from your hand this turn. Which is super good for him. He will freaking love to have that effect. So his attack stat is average thanks to his Mystical Beast Circuit, thanks to Winged Dragon of Raw. The, uh, the uh, Gravekeeper cards are all below average, except, yeah, even Chief, yeah, they're all below average. And Makura the Destructor, he's barely below average. So the only thing that stopped him from being below average were his Tribute Monsters. The fact that Mystical Beast Circuit can become, uh, has 2,500 for one Tribute, that is busted. 2,200 is the average for one Tribute. And the fact that it gets stronger after each kill is incredibly busted. Wing Dragon of Raw, its potential is the only reason. It has the potential of being the strongest card in the game. Or it has the potential of being a weak card. Either way, totally worth it. Wing Dragon of Raw is right there, guys. So that's his attack stat. Average, not too good, not too bad. He's doable. And Necro Valley will definitely help with their attack stats if he can pull it. So let's move on to his defense stat, which is where things get kicked up into overdrive odeon has one of the best defense stats in the game because of the gravekeepers they have 1900 defense point guard 2000 defense point spy assailants at us 15 which is at the average so that's pretty freaking good um other than that mystical beast circuit has good defense at 2000 for a one tribute that is really good um, Necro Valley buffs all of them. His Trap Monster Embodiment of Apophysis, which he has three, has 1,800 defense, which is above the average by 300. So, of course, his defense stat is God Tier. Not only that, but he runs cards like Swords of Revealing Light, and he runs cards like, um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, da, da. Yep, of Judgment of Anubis and Curse of Anubis. He has these trap cards of Anubis, which what they do is uh, Curse of Anubis changes all effect monsters on the field to face up defense or to defense position, which is perfect because that will stop them from attacking. And then he has Judgment of Anubis to protect his spells and trap cards, which is just nice. So that is going to be super incredible for our buddy Odeon here. He desperately needed something. He had amazing defense. So, moving on to his speed stat, that's where things go back to the average, because he does have special summons, we've already explained them. He could summon any card from his deck with the combo of Temple of the Kings and Mystical Beast of Circuit. His trap monsters all count as special summons, that is also part of the deal. Um, his Gravekeeper Spy searches the deck and special summons a monster onto the field. That is also amazing. It's pretty, like, overall, all of these cards are pretty freaking good when it comes to speed. Problem, there are a lot of characters way faster nowadays. If this was Duelist Kingdom, which he obviously wouldn't be able to be in that tournament, but if this was Duelist Kingdom, his speed stat would have been like a 6, not a 4. But a 4 is still average, he's still doing pretty damn good. Um, I think that he's pretty, pretty effective there. So let's go ahead and move on to his skill stat, which is above the average because he does run skill cards like his trap card judgment of anubis and what that does is if your opponent tries to destroy your spell or trap cards so if they try to hit your temple of the kings because they know it's a busted card that's making it so you could summon raw or because it's going to keep mystical beast circuit on the field which it's gaining its infinite attack points or because they know that you're trying to use your trap monsters and in instant special summons and you don't want to let that happen you can activate judgment of anubis to stop their mst target a monster on their side of the field and they take burn damage so that's where the burn Burn damage comes into for that monster's attack points. Ju Judgment of Anubis is super good with that. Um, he also runs Swords, which gives him some stall potential, which is super good as well. And because he has a monster that banishes, that actually helps him. 
That super helps him when it comes to the skill stat. And, of course, the special summon from the deck. He could summon any monster in his deck that he wants. He has no fusion deck. Sorry, guys. Any monster in his deck that he wants. And it's most likely going to be the Winged Dragon of Raw. So, that's going to be it for his skill stat. It is freaking incredible, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and move on to his Brick stat. And, yes, I'm sorry. His Brick stat's really rough because he runs three Mystical Beast circuits, which aren't even summonable if you don't have Temple of the Kings. And he has the Winged Dragon of Raw, which requires three tributes if you draw it from your in your into your hand. If Winged Dragon of Raw is in your hand, you must tribute summon it. You can no longer use Temple of the Kings to summon it. It is super... Oh, wait, no, you could use Temple of the Kings. Never mind. Sorry, not that. It's just if you have to tribute summon it, it's freaking annoying. He has Gravekeeper's Chief, which is a tribute monster now, and that's going to slow him down. The Brick stat also comes from his Necro Valleys mixed with his D-Spell mixed with his card destruction. It's just a bunch of cards, and his monsters are pretty bad. Gravekeeper's Vassal is useless. Gravekeeper's Curse does a little burn, so that could work with his skill stat as well, but it's not very good. Gravekeeper's Watcher is not very good. Charm of Chabadi is okay, but it's not great. Um, Cannon Holder, it does burn damage, which also helped with the skill stat, but it's not very good for the break stat. All of these monsters are just not very good. So he can brick quite often, especially with that Mystical Beast Circuit Temple of Kings thing there. If you lose your Temple of the Kings, Mystical Beast Circuit is useless. He has more than one Temple of the Kings, but still, you're probably only going to draw one in the duel. And Mystical Beast Circuit, it's a tribute monster, so, you know, if you get stuck with it in your hand, you're kind of screwed. Especially if you don't have the spell card, because then it's just a brick. It's a straight-up brick. So he has a high brick potential. Not saying he's going to brick, but he has a high brick potential because of these combos necessary. We're right back to the Tomb World uh, conversation, everybody. That's going to be it for Odeon. I'm so sorry that I had to add a bunch of cards to his deck. I hope you all can accept that I chose Gravekeepers, because I felt like it fit him quite well. Um, given that, that he is a Gravekeeper in real life. So, what are you going to do? Uh, but that's going to be it. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, just to end things off, this is going to be his potential. One and a half stars. I don't think he can win the tournament. I think he has a high potential of winning if he goes for the Wind Dragon of Raw strategy. But that's also the riskiest strategy in the world because you lose all your life points to do it. And if he gets Temple of the Kings with Mystical Beast Circuit, you can try to win that way. It's just a lot of these strategies don't work without combos. So the fact that he's combo reliant, it really isn't very good. I got to say, Odeon's deck, it's made of pretty weak monsters overall, not counting his tributes. Hell, counting Gravekeeper's Chief, though. Pretty weak monsters overall. It's just not very good, guys. His potential, one and a half stars. He could be better. I, I, I honestly think a Shizu and Merrick are way better. So, yeah, that's going to be it. See you all next time.